and shadows the summon spirit of darkness. The opposite of that would be the summon spirit of light, right? Yeah, but why do you ask? Well, Luna was saying she wanted us to bring Aska, so... Yes, considering the time we'll need to spend to find Aska, we should save the summon spirit of light for last. I wonder why Aska left the Guardian Tower of Mana. He probably just ran away to find some chicks. You're confusing him with yourself, Zelos. Anyway, here we go. Mythos. We're doing the same thing that the legendary hero once did. I am Sheena. I ask that thou annulst thy pact with Mythos and establish a new pact with me. Fight! He's coming. any words, do you? Um, for the sake of creating a place in which the two worlds must no longer sacrifice one another, I ask that you lend me your power. Agreed. Now all we need to do is form the pact with the Summon Spirit of Light, and we can sever another mana link. All right, we're counting on you for the next one too, Sheena. You got it.
Kratos, don't get in our way. Hear me out. The Deris Carlon core system just finished calculating its answer. If you form the pact with a summoned spirit, the protection around the Great Seed will be completely lost. And that's exactly what we desire. Don't you understand? What you're hoping for will not happen. Silence! Do you think we'll pass up this opportunity? Lloyd! Leave him to me. Go now! Form the pact with the summoned spirit of light! This is it. The protection around the Great Seed will finally fall after this pact. We're counting on you, Sheena. You got it. I am Sheena. I ask that thou annulst thy pact with Mythos and establish a new pact with me. Where is Asuka? He'll come. He promised. I see. Then all is well. I shall test thy worthiness to wield my power. Show me thy true strength. Get ready.
art powerful. Now state thy vow upon which thou wilt base our pact. I vow to germinate the great seed in order to realize the true regeneration of both worlds. We accept thy vow. Our power is thine. You did it! No! What's happening? Oh my god. Is that the giant Carlon tree? That person. I feel like I've met her somewhere before. Martel. Martel? That woman about to be consumed by the tree is Martel? She reminds me of someone. She reminds me of. Why would Martell reappear with that giant, grotesque tree? I was afraid this would happen. What do you mean? Having lost the stability afforded by the protection of the Summon Spirits, the Great Seed has gone out of control. No! The purpose of the Summon Spirits was to isolate the Great Seed from the outside world and prevent it from growing. That was only half of it. The two worlds were forced out of phase by Yggdrasil. They should have drifted apart from each other and have been consumed by the Void. But this was prevented from happening because the Great Seed was placed in the center between the two worlds. I don't need a lecture from you to know that. The Great Seed is constantly being pulled upon from both worlds as they try to separate from one another. It's a miracle that this delicate balance held up for even this long. Wait. So the Mana Link served as a cage to contain the Great Seed in the space between the two worlds? Is that what you're saying? Exactly. And because you provided the unstable Great Seed with mana, it germinated in a twisted form and has gone out of control. It's even engulfed Martell. Who cares why this happened? I want to know what's going to happen if we can't stop this thing. If 
what Kratos says is true, then Silveron will be consumed and destroyed by the Great Seed. And if Silveron is destroyed, Tethayala will be destroyed as well, as it is linked by the holy ground of Carlon and the otherworldly gate. Then, everyone will die. Everyone, except that twisted tree, and the angels that live on Daris Carlon. We have to do something! But what can we do? Ewan, how do you plan to rectify this situation? We can cut off the mana flow and stop the seed from receiving any more mana. But that won't subdue the giant tree. The process has already begun. Is the giant tree going crazy like that in Tetheala too? Highly unlikely. Although I imagine they are feeling some effects, such as earthquakes. That makes sense. Because Colette activated the process of world regeneration, the summoned spirits of Silverant are now active. Therefore, the giant tree was drawn over here by Silverant's summoned spirits. Correct. The summoned spirits exchange their respective roles of yin and yang. Each time a chosen's quest for world regeneration succeeds. Currently, the summoned spirits of Silverant are carrying out the role of Yang by providing the mana. But because the giant tree has overabsorbed Silverant's mana, it has gone out of control. If that's the case, couldn't we neutralize it? By blasting it with the power of the opposing summoned spirits? Whoa, Lloyd! You actually understood what we were talking about? Shut it, Genus! Professor once said that the negative and positive of a magnet neutralize each other. This is kind of the same thing, right? That's not quite right, Lloyd. But nonetheless, it's a clever idea coming from you. Even if we did decide to try and set the summon spirits of Tetheala against it, how are we going to go about doing that? We can't get close to that crazy thing the way it is now. The mana cannon. Mana cannon? That machine Rodile was building? We were actually manipulating Rodile into building that. Before the mana link started to disappear, we planned to have Rodile destroy the Tower of Salvation. So you're suggesting we feed the mana of Tethayala's summon spirits into the mana cannon and fire it at the giant tree. Hmm. I suppose there's no better option right now. First, we need to shut off the current flow of mana to the tree. It'll be too late if the tree grows any larger. Then here's the plan. Ewan, I'm going to pretend I don't know who you've been working with or what you've been doing. In exchange, you're going to order the renegades to stop firing mana at the tree immediately. Meanwhile, Lloyd's group will head for the mana cannon. All right. It's not possible, sir. Forsistus has executed our Asalia Ranch infiltration team. What does that mean? The Asalia Ranch is still operational. We had people working undercover switch over the mana flow. In other words, we have to infiltrate the place right now and stop the flow. Then I shall go. You? Are you suggesting we should send you, our enemy, to do this by yourself? I'll send some of my men. Preparations for the mana cannon, the shutdown of the mana reactors throughout the world. There are too many things we need the renegades to do. You don't have enough troops to do everything. I'll go. Wait, what are you saying? We have to head for the mana cannon. You and the renegades can take care of the mana cannon. Kratos and the rest of us will infiltrate the Isalia Ranch. Fire the mana cannon when we give you the word. You wouldn't be able to trust the signal if it came from Kratos alone, right? 
Well, that's true, but... Is it about Chocolat? That's right. Chocolat is held at the Isalia Ranch. Lloyd, you remembered your promise. All right, we'll leave it to you then. Don't let us down. Let's go, guys.
Chocolat! Don't move! So you're the intruders! The host bodies made a break for it when they heard you were here. You'll pay for this! You like kicking people around, huh? Well, now it's payback time. I don't care for So much. Thank you. Are there any others here? I think the people in the other rooms managed to get away already. Well then, we'll take the captives just as planned. Right. Good luck. Come everyone, this way. I... If you don't want to be saved by me, just consider yourself rescued by the Chosen. Now hurry and go! That's as far as you go. You're... for Cestus! Well, well. So you remember me. It looks like it was a mistake to have let you live. I guess I'll have to take care of you, personally. Please, let us through! The Great Seed is out of control. The whole world will perish unless we stop the Seed. What do I care? Even if the world is destroyed, it's of no concern to us half-elves. Why? The world is vital to everyone. We have Darius Carlock. It is a world of mana, the very source of life. The destruction of this tainted world is of no concern to us. How can you so easily cast away the world? Is it not the source of all life? Mana is the source of life. And the very source of mana, Darius Carlon, will be our new world, thanks to Lord Yggdrasil. Because Martell is fused with the Great Seed. Are you saying that fool would go this far just to protect her? You speak as if you know him. Who are you? Lloyd, with no time, we'll have to use force. I know! You will not get past me! Fear your beings deserve to perish. Don't overdo 
can stop the mana reactor. I don't have a clue what any of this stuff does. Really? What are we gonna do? Uh-oh. What did I do? Looks like it stopped. Oh, you're right. Phew. Good job, Colette. Looks like your luck is as strong as ever. Glad to see you're okay. Yeah, all we need to do now is contact Sheena and... You will do no such thing. No! I am one of the five Grand Cardinals. I won't die so easily. I'm taking all of you inferior beings with me. So, this is how the great design hero for Cestus meets his end. I'm disappointed. I see. I get it now. I wondered how a mere human could exude the smell of mana. Your Kratos. What of it? Lord Yggdrasil trusted you, yet in the end you betray us. This is why humans can never be trusted. Ugh! No! You bastard! Lord Yggdrasil, glory to the new age of half-elves. Colette, are you okay? What's that? No! Don't look! Don't look at me! Lloyd, send a message, quickly. But Colette... The Chosen won't die yet, but if you don't hurry, this world will. Now do it. All right. of everlasting ice. Hammer of godly thunder.
servant of Mother Earth. Envoy from the Dark Abyss. I command thee, gatherest before me and unleash thine power. Okay, guys, I'm counting on you. You mustn't get up. What was that cry? Martell, I would assume. The out-of-control Great Seed is Martell herself. I wonder... The Great Seed is once again bound in the holy ground of Carlon. For that, I owe you my gratitude. Thank you. It seems that you have managed to save the Great Seed as well as this world. If the Great Seed is intact, then I presume Martell, who's fused with it, is safe as well? I'm sure that's good news for you. I wish I could say the same for me. Colette, it looks like things have settled down. It's gross, isn't it? It's disgusting, isn't it? It's... It, it's... It's not at all. Stay away! Don't look at me! Colette! It's okay, she just fainted. Let's take her back to the village. To Isalia? But Lloyd and I were banished. Colette's home is in Isalia. Besides, we can't just leave behind the people who were held at the ranch. All right. Let's go to Isalia. Then I'll notify Sheena to meet you at Isalia. Farewell for now. So the angels of Crucius were really half-elves. Please don't tell anyone about this. We don't want to start a panic. Indeed. Especially now that the Tower of Salvation is gone. I wouldn't dare tell people the truth. Tower of Salvation is gone? After that frightening earthquake, the tower disappeared from the eastern sky, along with that monstrosity. How could it disappear? I don't know. The Chosen never completed the ritual of regeneration. The Crucius core system, which controls the appearance of the tower, may have malfunctioned. It is of little consequence. No, it's not. It's a tremendous shock to the people of Silverhunt. 
After a giant earthquake sunders the land, the symbol of salvation vanishes. The Chosen will be held responsible. Why? Lots of other Chosen have failed up till now, too. The others have paid for their failure with their lives. But Colette is still alive. When people are suffering, they feel the need to place the blame on someone. It is not fair to Colette. I'm gonna go see what's going on in the village. I'll go too. Well, let's all go together then. It sounds like it's a bit sketchy for you to be walking around by yourself. I'll stay here. Go on.
boy! Dad! How have you been? Were you affected by the earthquake? This area is on top of hard bedrock. Everything is fine. Dirk, we are here by the request of Colette's family. They wish for you to help her. I'm afraid even if Crucius crystals are an evolved form of X-Sphere, I still don't know the first thing about them. It'd be a better idea to ask a dwarf over in that Tethyala place. Oh, so even you don't know anything about these? I'm sorry I couldn't be of help. At least stay here for the night to get some rest. I must politely decline. Wait, are you really going back to Crucius? I am an angel of Crucius. Then why didn't you follow Yggdrasil's orders? To leave the Great Seed alone? I have my reasons, that's all. But as a result, Martell was not lost. That goes along with Yggdrasil's wishes. It's true, then. You really are our enemy. Lloyd. What? If you want to save the Chosen, you should research the records from the ancient Carlon War. Remember the words of the Unicorn at Lake Umasi. Wait. Why are you with Crucius when you're a human? What is he trying to do? Wasn't that Kratos just now? Sheena! Yeah. He returned to Crucius. I see. So he really is our enemy. Yeah. But anyway, welcome back. Thanks. Thank goodness we stopped the giant tree. Yeah.